I'm peeling around here. I should be in the daggone bed, but I had to take a drug test today for the job. A random surprise drug test. And I'm sure that they're going to find all kinds of crack cocaine, methamphetamines, uh, heroin, sherm, marijuana, opioids, whatever else they got in them drugs. Uh, I'm joking, by the way. I am drug free. I don't even drink. But if that's your flavor of choice, as far as the drinking part, do your thing. But, I said all that to say this. I'm going to shoot over here the damn uh, cycle gear and just poke, a, poke my head in there and see what's the going on. Usually when I'm coming through here, I'm hollering ass to go to work or I'm so early in the morning they're not open. So, I'm in need of some uh, more motorcycle boots. I've had these for quite a while. They are non-perforated boots. Uh, I use that for most of my winter riding. It doesn't let the air blow onto my pinky toes. And I'm happy about that. And I'm in the wrong lane. But I'm gonna run over here to Cycle Gear right quick, you guys, and bring you guys along with me. Let's see what they got in there. Last time I was in there, it was terrible. They ain't have nothing. It was horrible. Nothing that I want anyway. I should have been in that lane right there, but. That lane goes left and right. This one goes right. I play it just right. I can. And I played it to perfection. But Psycho Gear is right off of 40 if you're in the Oxford area. Right off 40. See the bluff exit. There it is. Cycle gear. If anybody knows anything about that 511. If you like tactical gear, that 511 plus. I'm here to tell you, they got stuff. I got a bunch of my 511 pants, kind of like uh, hiking pants, tactical pants, but they're kind of real loose fitting. Real active wear, but they're real doable. I love them. Cannot go wrong with a pair of 511 pants. Those are the kind of pants when you, um, if you're uh, running around hiking and you step through some water, you know, walk, walk through a creek and all that, they dry off very fast and they don't weigh you down. Water, water don't stick to them. Let's go over here to the damn. Shoot, they might not be open. I uh, see a couple of bikes over there. Go over here to this daggum cycle gear and have a look see. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. Because I don't get on this side of town much at all. But it's about time for some lunch, too. Might have to stop at the backyard burger, get one of them grilled burgers. Man, they so be delicious. There it is. I may have the whole store to myself. One thing about a uh, soccer girl I do like, they have motorcycle parking. Motorcycle only. Look at those strobe lights blinking at you. Go in there and see what's happening. All right, guys. Let's go in this cycle gear and see what they got. Or ain't got.
That's going on now. Boots. All right. Boots. Man, then the one I was going to get. Yeah, you probably don't fit my small foot. Oh, you got small. You got the kind of foot that'll hang. You can hang them on the keychain. Oh, man, they don't have no boots. So I did not find my boots, you guys, but they are going to order me a pair of these. What is that? Ceviche? Ceviche chickens. Ceviche chickens. They don't make these boots no more. I love these. I should have bought two of them. These are the ones I've had for a while. But they're about to fall apart. Time to upgrade them shoes, boys. Cycle Gear in Knoxville, Tennessee. They got all kinds of helmets, though. Got the battle axes. And most of the time, I cannot wear none of this stuff. Being the big guy, you can forget about it. Got some nice clothes for you. They have nice clothes for you if you can fit them. I have the coveralls. I'm gonna order these boots, y'all. So. We ordered some boots from over here, you guys. Sadiche. All right, then. She can send an email here in about... What you call it? Sadiche. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's the spicy meat to boil. Sadiche. <laughs> I'm stating to be corrected. Heck yeah, man. What's your name? Jacob. Jacob. What's your name? I already know who y'all, but... Corey. Corey. Y'all come see Corey. Y'all still putting them sinners in helmets? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, get your seen that and stick it in there. Right you gonna give me something though. You want me to print this out for you? Because it'll just send you an email. Okay, now. Nah. All right, man. All right, appreciate y'all. Thank you, man. Let's get on that here. Time to go to bed. Cycle gear. These guys do ride. That's the 511 store I was telling you guys about. All right, let's get out of here. All right, you guys, so I'm leaving Cycle Gear. They did not have my... They did not have what I was looking for in my boot. But they got some Sadiqi. As Corey said, Sadiqi. Uh in my size in the warehouse and I ordered a pair and I may be telling you guys something you already know but now if you order them you can have them either pick them up from the store or they'll mail them to your house I don't recall them being able to do that before but it's been a while since I've shopped over here but they will send them to your home and still you having to come to the store. And I'm happy about that. So let's get my put on towards the house. Let's, let's head on towards the house and lay your head down. But the Noxle soccer gear you got. And, and the sidebar here, I'm one of them kind of people. I like to wear sport bike boots when I travel. I do have a pair of Milwaukee Cowboy 
motorcycle boots and I do love them but when I travel I like my sport bike boots what I call sport bike uh, boots uh, they're lightweight they're almost like you got a, a real good firm shoe and it goes up not all the way up my calf but it goes up my calf quite a quite a way so especially in the winter they are water resistant especially in the winter cycle gear in the winter when you uh you know got your thick shoes on or thick socks it ain't let no wind excuse me ain't let no wind in so anyway that's just my little thing when i travel i like to have my feet light i like to be light on my toes all right you guys let me ease my ass on up here go jump in the bed those guys are very helpful corey's been there a long time and they still putting uh center units in your helmet if you buy a center unit from them or even a helmet from them they will put a center unit inside your helmet for you if you are interested all right let's go home hey thanks for watching another episode of slappy adventures please like share and comment And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. <laughs> hey, stay tuned for more videos like these. Thanks for watching.